Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting video lined up for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update from our channel. Hi everyone, in this video we will be learning what is object oriented programming in Python, what is class, and what is object. Before starting the implementation, we have to see what is object oriented programming in Python. Object oriented programming provides a means of structuring programs so that properties and behaviors are bundled into individual objects. Okay. For instance, an object could represent a person with properties like name, age, and address, and behavior such as walking, talking, breathing, and running. Or it could represent an email with properties like recipients list, subject and body and behaviors like adding attachments and sending the email. That could be the behaviors. Okay. Put another way, uh, object oriented programming is an approach for modeling concrete real world things like car as well as relations between things like companies and employees students and teachers and so on i have opened the pycharm on my computer i have created a brand new file for oop class and object demo.py here we will be implementing the class and the objects now see class in a python Primitive data structures like numbers, strings, and lists are designed to represent simple piece of information such as the uh, cost of the book, okay, how much it is cost, the name of a book, or uh, your favorite color of the book, respectively, right? These could be the primitive data types, okay? What if you want to represent something more complex? Okay, for example, let's say you want to track employees in an organization. You need to store some basic information about each employee, uh, such as their name, age, uh, the position, and and the year uh, when they joined the organization. So, how you will manage this complex information uh, into the form of program? So, one way is to do this. Uh, is to represent each employee as a list okay so what is list like uh, you can say uh, Raj okay then you can say uh, this is my list and I can say Raj and I can say age is like 30 okay so this is the example of employee information okay in form of list but let's say if you have lots of employee in the organization so how you will manage those things so you will be keep adding those lines like for another employee you will say Ravi okay then you will say name of the employee its age is 35 so that way you have to manage all the employees information one by one in the same program it is very complex right this is a complex example but what if we have something with us so a great way to make this type of code more manageable and more maintainable is to use classes okay how to create classes the class statement creates a new class definition the name of the class immediately follows the keyword class okay so let me take class let me take employee my class name is employee you can take this employee as a blueprint of the uh, employee information uh, employee and colon this is the class syntax the class keyword we have to add at the beginning then the class name okay so the next step is next step is to pass on some information like name and the age into this class template so that we can get the output so there is even a special method called uh, def init right let me say init you see this is the constructor of this class which is used to construct the variables for the classes 
okay this constructor will be used while creating the instance of the class or object of the class okay we want to pass on some information into the class like name or the age of the employee so what we have to do we have to take variable name age and we can say self this is a keyword of the class for self instance you see name you can say the name we can say self dot age then we say age this is a simple construction of the class okay we need one more function to show what is the name and the age of the employee so we need to create another function let's say uh, we have to show show employee details we can say this is a method or function we have to show let's say print we'll print the employee name and the information let's say name of the employee we can say self dot name then we can say the age of the employee we can say the self dot age so the simple function to show the name and the age of the employee for current object right this is just a template of the class we have not created any of the object or instance of the class yet okay this is our next step to create an instance of this class and provide the inputs or the values names age then we will see the result okay so now we see what is the object okay class object we can say class objects class object supports two kinds of operations attribute references and instantiations okay always remember attribute references and instantiations so attribute references is what this is the function which is called as attribute references okay so the object will reference this function okay second is the instantiation so instantiation will be doing what we have to do let's say i have taken a name of the object let's say object one then what is the name of the class it is employee then we have to pass on some argument you see name and age it is expecting this class okay this is a constructor self we have to let's say raj then we have to pass on the age let's say 40 or you can say 30 right and now the next step we have to call the attribute reference like this function we need to show the information of the employee which we have just pass which we have just associated with the object so let's say object dot show so this function you see it is visible in the intellisense list okay just click on tab and you can run the program now to see the output okay let's run the program see you can see the name raj and the age is printed the same as we pass on in the print method this is the class very simple for your notes and this is the object how to create a object of a class and how to pass on the values into the class constructor in it is called a constructor self is a self uh, class uh, is a reference these are the arguments this is the function of the class so you can create n number of objects for this class template whenever we you need okay let's say object 2 you can pass on another name All right let's say 35 then you have to call the same method 2 let's send the program again you see the different employee information you can see in the console so this is manageable this class template is much manageable otherwise you have to define so many of the list object and manage employees information that way okay let's say if you have to add another attribute on the class template let's say uh, the department okay department okay 
so what do you have to do you have to let's say self dot department okay let's say department and department okay and you can print the same thing on here let's say department just self dot department okay now what it will expect it will expect one more argument here in the constructor department let's say i say the count for this employee i pass on sales okay this is same thing let's run the program and see the output you see this depart department this department new information is also printed to the console it is very easy and manageable otherwise you have to say oh in each and every uh, list object you have to pass on like department sales so oh, very difficult to manage right that way here you have to just modify your template of the class and just pass on the argument this is very simple i hope it helps you what is class and what is object so far what is object oriented programming we'll be discussing other concept of object oriented programming in next video that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video